Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 25 tips and tricks video. Today we're going to be talking about all things spinach. Spinach is a new crop coming to the Farm Sim franchise with Farm Sim 25 and it brings us some kind of interesting gameplay dynamics. Let's go ahead and take a look at the infographic the Giants provided before Farm Sim 25 released. Spinach, well it's going to be able to harvest twice a year. And all of this is going to start in the month of March. So while we start a brand new save game in August, we're going to have to wait all the way until March the following year before we can put our spinach in the ground. And then we should be able to harvest sometime around June and also sometime around September. Spinach is going to have an average yield of 23,100 liters per hectare. And it'll be interesting to see as we have a field that we're going to use in today's video that is just over one hectare in size. We're going to have an average selling price of $660, average seed usage of 10 liters per hectare, average growing duration of about three months, and again you can plant it in March and April and then harvest June, July, September through October. Now that's not exactly how it's panned out in the game. So let's go ahead and take a look at the growth schedule in the crop calendar. So you can see March is indeed the first opportunity we have to put spinach into the ground and we better have that process done come May because June it's all done as far as seeding our spinach. But the harvest schedule is quite different than what we were expecting from the Giants infographic. It looks like we could in theory harvest spinach the entire time of the year from March through February. So it'll be interesting to see how this ultimately plays out in this video, because we know we're supposed to be able to harvest spinach twice a year, but if we have the ability to harvest spinach throughout the year, will it really die off after the second harvest? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Once February and March have come, well, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your field prepared. And you have from August until March in order to get that done. What we have here for this particular video is I have a field, field 41 on Riverbend Springs, already prepared. So it has basically been mulched at this point. We've plowed the field if it needed plowed. We've cultivated the field. We've put lime on the field if it needed liming. And now we are ready for the seeding process. But before we get into seeding, what can we do with spinach? Well, as was pointed out in a recent comment on my pig video, it's kind of a shame that Giants didn't incorporate the new crops into pig food because I could easily see us delivering spinach to our pigs as an alternate for, let's say, the root crops. But instead, well, we're delegated to either doing one of two different things. Spinach being a fresh product, needs to be sold as soon as it is harvest. And one of the places you can sell it is gonna be at the placeable farmer's market. Now here we have the placeable farmer's market that is included with the game. It is also the same farmer's market that is available here on Riverbend Springs. So depending on what map you're playing on, it may or may not have a farmer's market, but do note you can always put this one down and this one will indeed accept your raw spinach. Something else that you can use in order to accept your spinach is going to be the preserved food factory. And I have here the preserved food factory that is a placeable on Riverbend Springs. We have a preserved food factory named the Canning Factory already pre-placed on the map. And they will accept spinach and make spinach bags with that. So we can do that with the Canning Factory in Riverbend Springs. Or if the map does not have one, then we can put our own preserved food factory down and again, process our spinach into spinach bags. Once our spinach bags have been produced, we can sell those at one of the two small farmer's markets, like the farmer's market small kiosk, or the larger farmer's market kiosk, or the large placeable farmer's market. And of course, depending on the map, well, there may be other areas that you can sell your raw spinach or your spinach bags. So for example, here on Riverbend Springs, we're gonna be able to sell our spinach down at the canning factory, the farmer's market, the railroad sell point, 
the grain barge terminal one and two, as well as the grain river silo. And of course we placed our preserved food factory. With respect to our spinach bags, again on Riverbend Springs, well, we could sell it at the large and small farmer's market kiosks that we've already pre-placed, the farmer's market, the train sell point, the restaurant, or we could buy, I wouldn't do it, spinach bags from the warehouse. Now, once you are ready to actually put spinach in the ground, you're gonna need a seeder. And for the purposes of this video, we're gonna be making use of the Limpkin Solitar 12 seeder, and we're gonna need some seed. And you can use either the pallet big bag, the big bag, or the pallet of pioneer seed that is available in the game. So let's go ahead and take a look at where we're gonna find those things in the shop. We're gonna find them under vehicles and then seeding, and pretty much any seeder in this category is gonna be able to put spinach in the ground. Some of these seeders will also allow us to fertilize our crop. So if that's the case and our ground needs fertilization, then we could kind of kill two birds with one stone. As far as seeds go, well, under seeding, you're going to find it under category seeds. There we have our pallet big bag, our big bag and our pallet of seeds. Or you can come down here to our other category and you can find objects big bags for your seed, big bag pallets for your seed, or pallets for your seed. Now let me go ahead and jump on in our tractor here, get our seeder loaded up with seeds, and get out here in the field and get this crop in the ground. Be sure to hit Y in order to change our seed over to spinach. And then we're going to lower our cedar down, turn it on, and, well, off we go. So I just finished seeding our crop, and, well, as you can see down there, we started out with 3,050 liters for the seed, and we have 3,040 liters where the seed left in the cedar. So indeed, we did see approximately 10 liters of seed for spinach per hectare of field. So, so far, our infographic is holding pretty true. Now, if we come over here, we are now showing a yield bonus of plus 92. I have some weed growth. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of those weeds now. You can do that. You don't have to wait for the first growth and then that should boost our yield bonus up a little bit. And then, uh, well, I'll see you all in April, and we'll see what our crop looks like then. So we have our first growth stage in April. Everything looks good to go. We have nothing really to do at this point until harvest, so let's go ahead and fast forward to May. Now we have May. We have more growth on our spinach, and if our infographic is correct, well... June comes harvest. So let's go ahead and see. Indeed, June is here and it is now time ready to harvest our spinach for the very first time. Warning, we have a tornado coming this month. OMG. Hope it's not going to affect our harvest in any way. But at any rate, it's now time to uh, fire up that super expensive oxbow harvester. Now we're going to find this here under our vehicle shop. So let's go ahead and take a look. Where are we going to find this wonderful harvester? Where are we going to find it in this wonderful shop? Oh, MG, I have no idea. Right? Okay, here it is. It's under vegetables. We have vegetable planters, vegetable harvesters, spinach harvesters, green bean harvesters, pea harvesters, and consumables. You'd think if spinach is under vegetables, why, why, why can't I, why can't I plant spinach? Well, I guess I can plant spinach with these spinach vegetable harvesters. But why would I want to plant spinach with these vegetable harvesters when I can plant spinach with the big boys planters, right? The big boy cedars. Look, I can go 12 meters. Spinach. Why do I want to limit myself to the... All right, stop. Let's get back on target. Spinach harvesters. We have the MKB4TR. Now, we only talk about base game stuff here in our tips and tricks videos. 
By the time this video comes out, there might be modded spinach harvesters. By the time you're watching this video, there might be modded spinach harvesters. And if there are, sure, by all means, go ahead and use it. But we are gonna be making use of the Oxbow because that is one, what I have available to use here in the base game and two, well, might as well use what we got. So this harvester is pretty neat. We're gonna unfold it. And the rear is just a giant bin. And then we have our front head here. We're gonna turn it on, just gonna see how it goes. And it's hard to look inside that. Um, it turns off, but there's a fan inside there. And when we get in it and we turn it on, you can see the fan blade spin right there above the mini map. Right, so the fan is basically creating a vacuum and it's sucking the spinach up in order to make sure it stands up. And then we have our intake reel to take the spinach in. We have our cutter bar, right, to cut the crop. And then it's going to go up into this nice conveyor belt. And then it's going to be blown into our big storage tank here in the back. It's a pretty neat process. Oh my gosh, we've lost a little bit of yield because I had a, hate, a, a hailstorm come through here during one of our fast forward processes, apparently. Let's go ahead and drop this thing down, line her up, and we'll off we go. And we can see our spinach now coming up through the conveyor belt, and boom, it's being blown into the back. Really cool process. It's going to take me quite a while to harvest this field. So let me go ahead and get this field harvested. Uh, doing my best to not destroy too much of it while I am trying to make these turns. And uh, we'll be back once we have harvested our field and or we have completely filled up our spinach hopper and our trailer that we're going to use to haul our spinach around. Well, we managed to fill up our harvester, so let's bring our trailer over here. Get it positioned. This should be on the right side. Hop into here and zero, move up the bunker. Pretty neat animations on that. And then we are gonna be offloading our spinach. See the fill plane there. And that is a lot faster than I think we saw in pre-release. In pre-release, the images it looked like it went pretty slow. So we're gonna hit O to move the bunker back down and I'll get back to harvesting so we finally got our field harvested took a decent amount of time and the fact that I've got another harvest this year at least well this video is going to be a little bit longer than the others at any rate we have according to the infographic remember an average yield of 23,100 liters per hectare. Now we did have a yield bonus with respect to our yield. And as a result, we have finished with a yield of 43,446 for our 1.18 hectare field. So we have 15,446 liters in our harvester and our trailer is full at 28,000 liters. So that is approximately an 88% bonus. Now I believe that our field was plus 92. Okay. Well, we had a little bit of hail damage and there were some times where I was accidentally driving over crop in order to make a turn or get lined up. So 88 plus yield bonus versus 92 
Sure, we'll just go with it. Now, now that we've harvested, what do we do with our crop? Well, like I said, we can put our crop into production or we can sell it. Spinach is not intended for a silo. We can't put down a base game silo and a dump spinach into it. Think about this. Spinach is an edible crop. It is human consumption. You don't eat dried spinach. You eat fresh spinach or frozen spinach. And as a result, well, you're gonna need to sell that spinach right away. Like we are selling it here at the placeable farmer's market. We could sell it at the farmer's market that is already on the game. We could sell it at one of any other sell points on the map like we've already talked about that have spinach as available input. So there you go. $18,244 for our load of spinach. We are playing on easy economy for this video. So there you go. Now I do want to try something and just see what happens. So I want to see if I can force this to unload some spinach to the ground. So control Y. And it is not letting me force unload. Okay. Well, let's bring this over here to our trailer. And let's see if we can put some product in the trailer and then force unload from the trailer. Because I want to basically put some product on the ground and let it see see what happens. Like like can I can I force unload this into the ground? Alright, that's enough. Now let's go and put the rest of the spinach into our canning facility. And we'll lower it with O. Put this back over here. Ready for the next harvest cycle. Come over here to our trailer. And we will see, can we force unload our spinach on the ground? No. Interesting. So we cannot force unload spinach. Control I doesn't work. So we could load it here into into our production if we wanted to. But it looks like Oh, we have to unload on the other side of the building. But it looks like what we're going to have to do is leave some in the trailer. Now, I think leaving in the trailer, it might stay as spinach. But we'll have to see if maybe it will dry out or do something. So we're going to leave this 4,656 liters worth of spinach in this trailer. And we'll come back and we'll see, basically, if it is gone when it's time for our second harvest or if uh if it's still a spinach because maybe maybe you can trick the game and store spinach by just having massive amount of trailers and just leaving it in a trailer now that we have harvested this field well we have to prepare it now for its second growth cycle now you can see it says needs plowing we're not plowing this if we plow this now we're done no more spinach for the rest of the year. But we do need to fertilize this. So I'm going to go ahead and fertilize our spinach now. And then we will have a growth state. Then I'll go ahead and fertilize the spinach a second time once we've had our second our second first growth state. Yeah, that's, that's kind of an interesting thought, right? And that should prepare then our field for our second harvest. All right, well, we are now in July. One month past our first harvest. We have regrowth. 
And we have wheat. Which I'm a little surprised at because I literally just finished running our herbicide sprayer over the field. Hmm. So, yeah. I'm going to do that. We're going to fertilize again. And then we're going to fast forward into August. So, let's go ahead and get our tractor here. Now, I should be good without narrows because I have first stage growth. But we're just going to poke our tire in here just gently and see what happens. All right, we're good. Yep, we're good. All right, so let's bring this up to 100% fertilization. And then, like I said, we're going to run through this field again with my herbicide to get rid of these weeds. And I'll be back at you in August. You can see the spot that had hail damage. It's it's done. We're not going to get any more product out of that section of the field unless we go and replant. Um, and at this point, it's beyond that window. So we're just done. Right? We're just basically stuck with that. Now you could, go, of course, go in and the settings and say that you didn't want natural disasters to cause damage and just be visual or you can just turn them off entirely right if you don't know where that is let's go to game settings and i'm just going to come down here to natural destruction we can say disabled visuals only right default is going to be set to enabled so there you go All right, welcome to August, and we have another growth stage on our spinach. Getting ready for our harvest number two. I've got this now fully fertilized. We have weeded. At least we sprayed with herbicide. We're only at plus 72% this time around. It does say need plowing. Again, don't plow. Don't plow at all. Because if you plow, well, you're going to lose your crop. Now, if you happen to have plowing turned off, Well, now your, now your yield bonus is up to 87%. So it just depends on how you want to play. If you want to turn plowing off, then fine. If you want to leave plowing on, that's fine also. But you are going to seem to be, get a little bit of a reduced yield bonus through your second harvest. Welcome to September and welcome to our second harvest. So we are now, once again, ready to harvest. Let's check our little experiment. Do we have fresh spinach in our trailer or is it uh, is it dried and dead or is it even gone? Well, it's, it's still there. It looks green. It's still spinach. So yeah, we didn't lose any crop. If you can manage to store your spinach until you want to sell it in trailers, that seems to work. Maybe a little bit of a game exploit. But uh, if, if that's what you want to do, sure, by all means, you can do that. So we're now dumping our spinach from our first harvest into our production. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and check out our spinach bags. Now you can store spinach bags. You don't have to sell these guys right away. So if you want to store spinach without maybe, you know, having a fleet of trailers just lying around, then uh, they just make bags of spinach. So here we have 1,000 liter bags. We have one, two, three, four. And we are now working on some more spinach because we ran out of product. So let's go ahead and get this harvest started and see what we get as far as our second harvest here on this field. Harvest is done for our second time this year, and, well, what did we come up with? Well, Harvest 2, we came up with 38,094 liters. Of course, your performance may vary. You may have more or less storm damage. You may end up destroying less crop as a result of driving over it while you're trying to harvest, or if you just turn off crop destruction, then you don't have to worry about it. All right, so any rate... 38,094 liters for our second harvest. Combining our two harvests together, 
That's 81,540 liters from a field that is 1.18 hectares in size, or at least farmland that's 1.18 hectares in size. And there's not a whole lot of extra non-field on that particular farmland. That is a lot more than the 40-some thousand that you would expect to have as a result of the yield from the infographic. The average price is $656.50 per thousand liters. Let's look at this. So if we come up here to spinach, our average high, I guess you could say, is 696. Our average low is 617. We're on easy economy. I took these numbers divided by two to get the overall average for the year, 656.50. That's what I got. Since technically you can't store spinach, you need to sell it right away, then you're really not going to be able to wait until you have max price, unless you have a trailer that can hold 81,540 liters worth of spinach. Then in theory, you could keep it forever because if it seems like spinach in a trailer doesn't degrade. I digress. At any rate, if you sold 81,540 liters worth of spinach at an average price of 656.50, well, you'd earn yourself $53,531 for your efforts with one year. That's a pretty good return. But we're not done. If you're willing to invest in the canning factory or preserved foods factory, then, well, you can have some even more profits. Because the average spinach bag price, that's $2,320. There really isn't a whole lot of differential, as we see here, from the average high and the average low. 2,338 high, 2,302 low. So 2,320. But there is a bit of a loss with respect to our bagged spinach. For every 100 units of spinach, we get 45 units of bagged spinach. So we're only going to get 45% of what we put in a spinach out as spinach bag. So again, if we put all of our spinach into production, 81,540 liters go in, 36,000 and some odd liters come out. That's 45% of that number. So 36 pallets worth of spinach bags, because we know spinach bags are 1,000 liters each. What does that mean as far as profits go? Well, those 36 pallets could ultimately sell for around $83,000. A $30,000 uptick from just selling it raw. So, you know what I'm going to advise you do? That's right. I'm going to advise you dump all of your spinach that you can into this factory and process the spinach as spinach bags because it's worth a whole lot more than it is as raw spinach. And technically, you can save your pallets of spinach bags, whereas technically you can't save any of your raw spinach leaves unless you do the trailer trick. So, I hope you all have enjoyed this video, but we're not quite done. Because I do want to fast forward a month or two or three and basically see what happens here in our field. Does it start to grow back? Does it wither? Could we possibly squeak out a third harvest? Will it even do that? I don't know. Let's go find out. But before, let's dump this spinach into our production. And you see, we already have four, five pallets from our first harvest. Let's dump this in here and see how many pallets we have next month. Remember, I did sell a fair bit of that spinach. All right, so we're not going to get 36 pallets. 
Well, there you have it. Our spinach is now withered. It is October. We have weeds growing in here. And, well, it's our year is done. We say we need lime. We need plowing. And, well, we have profited pretty darn good off of that one hectare field. We have 10 pallets of spinach bags here. We have five spinach bag pallets still in the storage of this production facility. And we have uh, 20,000 liters worth of spinach still to process. So that is a pretty darn good deal. Let's go ahead and sell one of these and just see what we get. Now, for the purpose of this video, I have enabled super strength. So, of course, that is not something you're typically going to be able to do. $2,849. That's at the small kiosk in October. Let's go to large kiosk. $2,813. Let's go to the farmer's market. The big one. $2,321. So guys, there you have it. That's pretty much everything you need to know with respect to spinach. And is it worth it? Well, you know what? The spinach harvester does sure do cost a lot of money. I just leased it. And that could be an answer. But since we have two harvests per year, well, if we come back here and we look at this leasing cost, uh, we have to spend $32,000 to lease it. And then we have to spend basically $6,350 per day to keep it leased, right? So if we lease it for our first harvest, return it after a second harvest, that is a bit of an investment, and that does eat into that potentially $83,000 a fair bit. But... $635,000, I think you're not going to necessarily be able to afford that right out of the gate. I think what you could possibly do is maybe lease it for a few harvests uh, until you have managed to save up enough money in order to pay for it full out or take out a loan and pay for it with a combination of a loan and your bank balance. But once you own that harvester... Oh, gosh, it seems like spinach is just a way of printing money. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to spinach and Farming Simulator 25. And until next time, happy farming.